Hello, group one. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading. Their feelings for you, where I am taking a look at the person you are connected to to see what their feelings for you are at this time. Um, channeling the current energies of someone you are in a soul connection with, someone you're dealing with romantically. Um, you can even have interest in someone. It's not serious, but you do want to know how they feel about you. So that is what I'm going to take a look at. Also, it is discounts we on my Patreon. So if you do join the silver or gold tier, you do get access to um, uh, discounts on extended readings this week. And of course, if you are a platinum member of my Patreon, which is the most popular, by the way, if you are a platinum member, you get access to the extended reading with your membership. Okay. So there's exclusive videos and pick a cards there. There's also um, an exclusive video. Um, What's hurting your connection versus what can heal your connection that is available to my gold and platinum Patreons, but I will make it accessible on Gumroad. So that information will be available soon. So I thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. So you guys were drawn to the honey cow sites. All right. And the golden wheel tarot. Okay. So group one, what are your person's current feelings for you? All right. The person you are thinking of, what are their current feelings for you? What are their feelings for you at this time? All right. Okay. So we have the queen of swords. What are your person's current feelings for you? We have the king of wands. The Knight of Wands, okay? And the Hierophant and Judgment. So you have somebody who feels very strongly for you. The energy is coming through that there is a decisiveness here. There's a passion. There is the King of Wheels. That's the King of Pentacles. So somebody feels incredibly strong for you. They feel like you're turning their life around. This person feels like, like they have to do something um, when it comes to their feelings. There's a lot of passion. The King of Wands and the Knight of Wands are right next to each other, right? I feel like this is somebody who is trying to control their passions right? Um, this feels like somebody who is trying to uh, make sure they're not making decisions off of lust and off of passion and their physical attraction to you. So you have somebody who is very practical in their feelings for you, right? So that means if you just met this person, they're like, I'm really digging group one, but I'm going to take it slow because we just met and we need to get to know each other more. If you have been dealing with this person long term or for a longer time, this person is like, okay, what can I do to slowly but surely get us to the next level? Um, so you guys all have somebody who you're dealing with who feels right now very seriously about you. There's no games in this energy of this person playing. Even with that Knight of Wands, I'm picking up someone who is excited, um, someone who feels like they are wanting to pick up the pace, okay? So let's break these energies down. Um, you could be dealing with, I feel like everybody's represented here, but you do have a Taurus, you have a Scorpio, you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? So the Queen of Swords, I feel like how this person feels about you is they really do try to make sure they are separating when necessary um, their feelings from what makes sense, okay? So this person wants to make sure they are, or they are, clearly thinking through. They kind of are coming from a logical space, but um, that isn't stifling their feelings, right? Sometimes when people are too logical or they're overthinking things, it can get to a place where it's like, okay, what do you feel? What is what is your heart telling you? And why are you ignoring that in favor of your, your mind? So this isn't that type of energy, but I do feel like this person, um, there's there's something about what they've been through 
Okay, you can probably resonate with this or relate to this. It's something about what they've been through that feels like how they feel about you is they just want it to make sense. This person feels very decisively clear on their feelings, which feels like understanding. So I'm not picking up that you're dealing with somebody who's confused. I'm not picking up that you're dealing with somebody who's indecisive about their feelings. I'm picking up that this person knows exactly what they feel for you. Um, and that Queen of Swords energy, they've likely express it. Uh, you actually have a couple of energies here where this person has actually expressed how they feel about you. Let's see what the Queen of Swords is saying. All right. Um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles for how they feel. They feel like you belong in their life. Um, that's what they're decisive about. So there's that. This person does feel like you belong in their world. Um, this person does feel like there's something long term here, something that is developing between you that is stable, that um, can be successful and abundant. OK, so a lot of you are dealing with somebody who feels like they want more with you. So if you're not already in a relationship, they want that. If you're not already dating, they want that. This is somebody who feels like you are family to them. You could feel like home to them. Um, you could feel like somebody that they are interested in investing in a long-term future with, right? Um, and so that means kids. That means uh, creating a family of your own. A lot of you have somebody who is considering marrying you or, or you possibly have communicated with them um, your feelings about marriage and they're on the same page if you do want to get married. So I feel like this person is um, very clear about their feelings for you. Feeling very uh, stable. You know, this is somebody who has a uh, thought through <laughs> their emotions and they're like, am I like doing too much? Am I seeing things? And they've come to the conclusion they're not. This is real. Okay. So what's the 10 of pentacles? It's the eight of pentacles. Yeah. I mean, the king of wheels basically said it all at the bottom of the deck. The overall energy of your person is somebody who is very practical. And so they're looking at you as a practical partner. They're looking at you as somebody where it does make sense. We are compatible. Um, we do have strong work ethics. We are really good working together. So I do feel like how your person feels about you is a sense that things are also working. Okay. The 10 of pentacles, the eight of, the eight of pentacles feels a lot like teamwork, but it also feels like the way that they decided to go about this whole relationship with you is working out. It, it feels as if you're, there's some, uh, there's, there's, there's some level of success and abundance being created here. So I feel like this person has come to the conclusion that this makes sense. Um, how they feel about you is that it's a, like, look, your standards are very, 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 very high. Uh, all of these in, uh, energies are pointing to the fact that you have very high standards. Um, you have very high moral and ethical values here. And this person just wants to be able to keep up with that. So that's why marriage could be coming through um, very strongly for this individual. They already know that they can't lead you on, right? They already feel like they can't play these games with you that they were possibly used to playing. For a lot of you, I feel like how this person feels about you. They came into to this situation with you wanting to maybe just have fun, right? To heal, to clear their head about a past relationship. And the relationship just took on a life of its own and it started to grow and you guys started to create this bond together. So this person feels very satisfied as well. So the king of, of, of um, wands is a very passionate, exuberant energy for how this person feels about you. They're excited. Um, they're decisive. They're um, incredibly encouraged to continue this. OK, um, this is somebody who feels like they like what you bring out of them. All right. With the king of wands. So let's clarify that. You could be a fire sign dealing with an air sign, an air sign dealing with a fire sign here. What's the king of wands? It's, it's the nine of pentacles. Lots of strong. See, I think what's coming through is this person looks at you as a strong, independent person, which is what they wanted. The queen of swords feels a lot like this person thought through the type of individual they wanted to give their heart to. I got the ace of swords here as confirmation. So I feel like while you may be feeling like this person is kind of logical and, and strategizing, I think that's exactly it. Um, your standards are high, but I feel like 
so are theirs. They basically came into this situation saying, I am not going to invest in anybody who is not preparing for um, some sort of uh, some sort of like union or um a prosperous long-term relationship. And it looks like that's exactly what they're getting. So both of you have manifested this is what I feel. Um, you feel like a good pair. I feel like this person feels like you are independent. Um, you're very like you're strong-willed and they like it. Yeah, the four of wands. I mean, this is a pretty decisive, clear message. Um your person feels like uh, sort of like taking you out the single life and uh, going into union with you. Some of you, um, there's someone here that may be thinking about proposing. Maybe if they're a fire sign, a, a Leo here, but also Sagittarius strongly, your person could be thinking about proposing to you. They're thinking about something with the King of Swords. They have a lot of court cards for how they feel about you. So they're very strong um, in their conviction for this relationship, feeling like they know it will work, feeling like it's working, um, feeling like whatever plan they put in place is it's it's going according to that plan. So yeah, this is about a, a union here. This person feels very strongly you're the one for them. This person feels very strongly you guys will have a very successful connection, okay? They feel very complete with you. How they feel about you feels like they have a strong sense that this uh, relationship has uh, loyalty. Um, it has a lot of like like high standards and values and morals. So I feel like you're like perfect for this person. At least that's how they feel about you. All right. So the Knight of Wands continuing in that excitement. I mean, all of these are really feel good energy. So of course they're excited, right? I feel like this person is feeling like you guys have just scratched the surface. There's so much more. Um, even if you've been together for a while, that means you're keeping their interests. <laughs> this is not someone who feels like you're making them bored or they feel sort of um, over this. This person is like getting more intensely excited about the future of a connection. I mean, the, the future of this connection with you. What's the Knight of Wands about? Thank you. For some of you, how they feel about you is that you've... Uh, I think they did want marriage. This doesn't feel like somebody who didn't necessarily want marriage and they changed their mind. I feel like they thought, oh, I'll get married years down the line. And now they want to speed it up. Okay. So the four of swords is here with the knight of wands, um, which is what I like about this knight of wands energy. It felt like it was being tempered or balanced by some sort of logical actions and, and not too much like passion and lust. And that's what the Four of Swords is saying, right? Um, this person is operating from a very cool headed space, but they are allowing their heart to be happy with you. The sun, this person feels you know, their feelings for you, they're very content. You know, this is more than content. This is ecstatic. All right. This is elated here. <laughs> Those types of words. Um, the two of cups keeps peeking um, at me from the deck. But I do feel like this person, some of you um, have recently gone into union. Okay, it's something that's just been picked up in the collective. And so there will be those of you who have recently gone into union with your person. So it just feels like this person is is more focused on building a stronger foundation, not necessarily beginning a foundation because it feels like a lot of you, it's already began. So this person is is excited, you know, um, how they feel about you is that you bring a lot of balance and a lot of peace to their life. I feel like you made this person really reflect take a break, um, really contemplate their future, right? In a way that it doesn't feel they've been inspired to do by anyone else. Um, so there's something different about you. What's the four of swords? You made this person, I don't want to say slow down. I don't think you have an individual who is like, I used to be fun and exciting and love a good time. And now that I'm connecting to group one, uh, I'm kind of like boring and laid back. Um, this person still feels like they're like life of the party energy, like they are star of the show energy, but like they definitely have, um, uh, a respect 
is what's coming through for their feelings for you. And their feelings for you are very strong and, and very foundation based, right? If I'm building with this person, I don't want to do anything to mess that up. So what's the four of swords here with the knight of wands? Thank you. It's the king of swords. Yeah, I mean, we are getting repeating, you know, sort of energies, decisiveness, clarity. They know they want you. Their feelings are strong. You know, you're getting the same passionate stuff. This person feels like you've really made a strong impact on them. Um, yeah, you could have turned their life around, but it feels like romantically. I don't feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who was... Uh, too far off from wanting the same things that you wanted. They possibly just didn't feel like they had found anybody they could have that with. So what I'm getting is somebody who is um definitely logical in their pursuit of you, but their feelings are telling them to pursue you. They are not missing any opportunities is what I get. Basically, this is someone who was not missing any opportunities with you, not missing any moments with you. It feels like their feelings are very clearly leading them towards taking action or more action towards you. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what they're doing. So one thing I, I always feel about the king of wheels is that they are doers, um, especially when it comes to relationship dynamics. They're providers. They are supportive. Um, they have these uh, very um, partner-like qualities that they, they like to share. So you've already experienced something like that. Um, your person could probably easily say, you probably know how I feel about you, Group One, because I've been showing you. I've been doing stuff for you. I've been, you know, acts of service, or I've been like consistent with you. I've been working um, really hard to to so that you can trust me. So um, that's how I feel. I feel like your person is definitely uh, trusting of you. How they feel about you feels like it's clear. Um, I haven't gotten any signs yet that this is somebody who doesn't know what they feel and they're torn between worlds and they can't make up their mind, right? That's a very common thing to pick up, but this person feels very decisive. So you could be feeling like you lucked up with this individual. Aquarius energy showing up, also Capricorn, Libra, Gemini. This person actually feels like <laughs> They so their feelings for you, they thought it was just lust and passion. And once they had time to like really like process this relationship because they have processed it, they were like, nah, this is this is love. These are real um feelings from the heart space. Um I feel like this person is also very mindful about what and how they communicate to you, okay? Um, this is the energy of somebody who is wanting you guys to have very clear communication with one another, which is why a lot of you can know how this person feels about you. It just feels like one of the elements of not missing out on moments is not missing out on opportunities to remind you that they've thought this through it's not a mistake. They're not confused. Okay. They're sure they want to continue with this. They're sure they want to build with, with you. So the horrify here, this person's feelings are very spiritual. Okay. This person could feel like, um, this is a, you know, a spiritually led or guided relationship. One that is kind of out of their control because fate is in charge here with the higher font. Um, the energy feels like this person believes this relationship is, is very powerful and their feelings for you are following suit. Um, they are not resisting anything in this energy. It's like they're accepting the full responsibility of this relationship with you, group one. What's the higher font? They feel like you guys belong together, like you have a spiritual purpose together. How does this person feel about you? It's the Six of Cups. Yeah, I mean, again, consistent messages vary, but uh, I feel like this person is um, feeling this is what it's supposed, this is how it's supposed to be, you and them. 
you're who they're supposed to be with. They are who you are supposed to be with. I mean, the energy is very strong that how this person feels about you is it does make sense. So if that was a question they had, I think they've gotten that clarity. You are the person they feel most connected to. What's the six of cups here? And I was just about to say fours are very significant in your reading. And we got the four of pentacles. So, yeah. Um, I just feel like this is, again, confirming that they're going to continue to work on this and hold on to this with the four of pentacles, six of cups. It's a feeling they don't want to lose. It's a um, motivation. They don't want to be without, right? They're, this is what I mean by their feelings for you are strong because anybody can say that, right? My feelings for you are strong, but when you kind of struggle to put it into words and when you're like, I just feel like we belong and I don't want to lose this, you know, it's getting to where this person feels like they would do anything. Five of swords. Okay. <laughs> they would do anything to hold on to you. There's a selfishness when it comes to you. That's the King of Pentacles too. Kind of in a shadow energy, but, um, and I don't feel like they're operating from a shadow self, but that is a part of this energy is your mind. <laughs> if you belong with me, you can't possibly belong with someone else. So their feelings are as strong as it, it's coming through as. They feel like y'all already have something secured. Like there's no way you're going to deal with anybody else and there's no way they are going to deal with anybody else. They're just that sure. Like um, something that can be missed in this card is how she's holding on to the treasure chest, right? Everything else is on the, on the ship is, is done for, right? It's, it's, it's burning, it's gone, but this is the one thing they don't care what they've had to release or let go of for this. They just know that this, okay, what their feelings are for you are so strongly, are so strong. They have to hold on to them. So, um, somewhat possessive. All right. Again, it's not enough energies to be like, oh, they're obsessing over you or they're super possessive. But this is somebody that's like, you know, group one is mine. And I'm going to act accordingly to that. OK, so judgment. All right. I feel like, you know, this person gets a very clear message spiritually that you guys are meant to be together. Their feelings for you are transformational. Right. And so what I feel like that that means um, for them is that they have become the best version of themselves through allowing themselves to feel this deeply for you. When there's a lot of resistance and like blockages, you're going to get the low vibrational part of a person. You're going to get somebody who's not consistent. You're going to get somebody who doesn't know what they want. Your person is saying, I'm, I'm surrendering, I've released. Um, they want to have an opportunity with you to, to make this right. I feel like they want to make up for some failed relationships. Even if they failed with you before, they're determined not to fail again. So, um, yeah, I'll keep it. So I have the not, I'm sorry, the seven of wands and the hangman. And so the energy is about that sacrifice. I feel like this person has surrendered. I was just speaking about that. And there is the hang, hangman. And so with the seven of wands, um, clarifying the judgment here, this person is strongly defending this their feelings, basically this, what this has done, this impact you have had on them. They are strongly feeling like this is worth everything they possibly had to release, change in their lives, everything they had to sacrifice. Like they feel like you're worthy. That's how they feel about you. I would say that with the King of Wheels, um, this is a strong um, energy of this person's feelings for you being that you are valuable to them. Right. Sure. You guys can create um, material value through collaborating and and creating abundance that way. But you're valuable as far as the impact that you've had on them. It feels like it has created a better version of them. Okay. Um, again, this was somebody who wasn't that far off. 
All right. This doesn't feel like somebody who needed to do a complete turnaround, but you have changed their perspective about some of the important aspects of a spiritual relationship. And so I'm almost getting their feelings for you. Group one are, I can't thank you enough for showing me this side of myself or for helping me see this side of myself, something like that. Okay. So let's take a look. Um, I am going to see why they're feeling all like this, um, in this energy. I want to see the status of your relationship and what's been going on. I'm going to grab one here and grab more in the, um, extended and go into them. I want to see what's going on in this relationship with you and this person that they're feeling so deeply. Okay, so we have love call. All right, so I'll go into that in the extended and grab some more. I'll also take a look at how this person is feeling about you in their own words. Okay, where I pull some cards to see what comes through. I'm going to take a look at how this person thinks you feel about them. And I'm also going to take a look at your mutual feelings for one another. So group one, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I am taking this to the extended right now. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you so much for tuning into your next pick a card. Their feelings for you. So this is where I take a look at the energy um, from your person, somebody you're connected to on a soul level, a romantic level, or someone you're interested in romantically um, to see what their feelings for you are currently. Okay. So really quick, just want to let you guys know it is discount week on my Patreon. The link is in the description box. But if you would like a discount, on extended readings. Um, uh, this is the week to join the silver or gold tier. And of course, if you would like access to um, the extended readings with your membership on my Patreon, you can um, join the platinum level, which is my most popular tier at this time. Um, also, there is an exclusive pick a card on Patreon for my gold and platinum patrons. Uh, what is hurting your connection versus what can heal your connection? I will make this available on Gumroad um, very soon, but it is available now for the gold and platinum patrons if you join. So let's go ahead and get into your reading, their feelings for you, okay? So whoever is on your mind group two, let's take a look at this person, their energy, and their feelings. So you were drawn to the, the rose quartz, all right, and the wizard's tarot. So group two. All right. So let's take a look at your person's feelings for you at this time. Okay. So the will of fortune. What are their feelings for you right now? Group two, the four of swords. <laughs> the fool. It looks like they're getting closer to coming out of inaction, to take some sort of action based on their feelings. Okay, <laughs> that has never happened, but this uh, page of wands, I'll take it upright, it's spin. It was uh, in the reverse and then it kind of spin. So I'll take it upright, we'll see. But yes, some sort of action, okay, is coming in based on their feelings. Okay, King of Swords, definite action based on their feelings. So you guys have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so your person's feelings for you overall in this Ace of Pentacles energies is feeling like they got another chance or they have a chance. There's a big moment, you know, they're either going to initiate or that's either about to come in. You know, this can be like, I know I'm going to see group two at this party. This is my chance. I got to offer this new beginning. I got to ask her to out on a date, something like that. But their feelings are that they feel like you are representing um, another chance for them in some way. Okay. This is actually something they're really excited about. All right. I do feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, their feelings are coming through as grounded. 
Okay. This is interesting. It's like, um, it's kind of like somebody who may not understand their feelings or it could just be the beginning of the connection or they're not really sure where it's going to go. They just know that they're interested and that much is clear. That much is, is not going anywhere, right? This is a seed. This is something stable. This is something that can grow. And so their feelings for you are still here or their feelings for you are something that can grow into something further. They, they do seem to be under the, um, understanding though that they got to make something happen um because there's definite interest all right and some excitement here so their feelings for you with the will of fortune this person could feel like you uh were meant to come into their life right there's a element of destiny and being fated to meet and being fated to connect in this way and so they feel like this is still you know somewhat um in the works, right? Uh, I feel like this person, how they feel about you is that there's, there's something about you being a blessing and there's something about them being very fortunate and lucky to connect to you, but what are they going to do about it? So let's take a look at the will of fortune here. They feel like, what are the chances that I met somebody like this? You know, they think you're great. The Six of Cups, yeah, how they feel. They could feel like you remind them of an ex or something, or they could feel like this experience reminds them of another experience they had with romance. It's a good feeling. Okay. Um, this person, there. okay, so there's a little bit of uncertainty about their feelings. The uncertainty seems to be Um, are, so from your person's perspectives, I mean, from your person's perspective, are the feelings that I have for group two about how it was, how it used to be, or what I used to have with group two or someone else, or are these feelings, um, something new, something to continue with what's the six of cups here that is what they don't know two of swords yeah yeah i picked up a little bit of indecision with the six of cups because some of you this is someone you're in separation with and so their feelings are like we had some good times group two made me feel great but should i disturb group two i haven't talked to them in months i haven't talked to them in weeks I kind of ghosted them or I didn't really like handle things in the best way. Should I really like come back in and try to start over, which is what they're feeling like doing with the Ace of Pentacles. But um, look, the Five of Cups, their feelings for you. I feel like they're sorry for something, it's possibly something they put you through, something that they said, something that they did. But I do feel like they're apologetic about it. And it's also something where it's impacting their feelings where the will of fortune is about this situation could absolutely change for the better. But with the six of cups and the two of swords clarifying that, I feel like this person is not sure that um, either you're going to forgive them or take them back or that they can turn things around the way they need to be turned around. This could be something they just dream about or imagine or something they just want to happen, but they don't really know how to make it happen, right? So the four of swords feels a little bit like their feelings for you being, um, again, somewhat in a grounded energy. They don't like to get too ahead of themselves um, with their feelings. We don't have the cups here. We don't really have the big energies here. And so I feel like there's definitely something about them giving their themselves time to process, you know, what their feelings are. There's been somewhat of a break here. So it's kind of like you haven't talked to someone in a while and maybe something reminds you of them. And you go, I wonder if I should call them. And then you're like, I don't know. The last time they talked to me, it was like boring or I really didn't like what they were saying. So it's something like that where whatever has happened between you, um, they're contemplating whether their feelings for you are enough, okay, to do something about basically. It's the four of swords. Their feelings, okay, knight of swords. Their feelings feel like they fluctuate. Okay, not from like to hate. 
I get more of the fluctuation is about there was a lot of passion or there is still a lot of passion, maybe undisciplined passion. So this person um, could feel a level of excitement for you with the Knight of Swords, but that maybe that excitement only manifested in like sexual ways. And that's not good enough for you. Um, there's definitely some doubt. What I get is that the feelings they have are there. They're not sure where to go with them. And if it, if the feelings they have are enough to take this anywhere, right? They respect you is what I get. They definitely feel like a sense of... um. being drawn to you, wanting to do, I, I just feel like they don't want to waste your time. <laughs> you know, I feel like their feelings for you are that you deserve more. You deserve better. And if they're being honest with themselves, maybe they're being honest about not being able to deliver that. What's the Knight of Swords? It's the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like this is like kind of that fluctuating vibe. I mean, I could, <laughs> you know, allow myself to surrender and feel deeper for group two and go in and make an offer. But I could also, you know, it's, you know, sort of just like go in and uh, catch up on old times and we have a good time and then kind of go on about my way. There's definitely something here. The hangman, they don't know. They're not sure what these feelings are about just yet, or they're not, they're not sure of what they're feeling. Um, again, is enough. So I think for a lot of you, their feelings are a lot about themselves. Okay. This is one of those individuals where if you're not, showing them interest or like in a way that they want or they're used to, they don't really pursue. And for some of you, you know, their feelings could be that they are the catch and you need to pursue them. You need to be more action oriented with them. It's kind of like dealing with somebody who's like, sure, I, I feel like we could have a new beginning, but group two has to let me know. Group two has to say something first. Group two has to do something first. They could feel like you're a little bit of a distraction or uh, something about their feelings are very distracting. OK, they could feel like they get kind of goofy and silly and um, unfocused when you're in the picture. And so that may be something that they don't really like and they're not really sure, like calling you or pursuing you is the best thing for them right now, especially if they're trying to like get their life together or they're trying to focus on a project. What is this fool? Because I feel like their feelings for you are, again, they kind of fluctuate. And I also get with the full energy, they're not really as um, reliable, okay, feelings wise. They kind of started the reading with that, with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, you know, it's it's definitely risky to invest in this person emotionally in this energy. What's the fool about? You could have an Aquarius very strongly. Um, a Taurus, a Libra, a Gemini, a Virgo. What's the fool? A Capricorn, the sun. You have Leo here. Their feelings for you. Their feelings come through as very like childlike. Um, we even got the page of wands. And so kind of like flirty and crush, crush, you know, sort of a territory, but nothing too serious. 
their feelings for you. This is a very playful, like nice, energetic, warm vibe. I feel like they feel very um connected to you. They feel very good with you. They feel very good about how you make them feel. What's the sun? I don't, I just don't get they know what to do with these feelings, what to make of them just yet. The nine of pentacles. And I keep getting this kind of emphasis on their feelings being about their feelings for you. I mean, being about them, nine of pentacles, their feelings for you being mainly about What are you going to do about your, maybe wanting you to take the lead or some initiative here? I feel like this person, they're confusing, <laughs> you know? I think what you guys are getting is somebody who feels like um, they do feel very distracted. They they could also be someone who's kind of superficial. That would be an issue. This is someone who feels like um, their feelings for you are rooted in their attraction to you, right? Them being drawn to your look or their be them being drawn to your personality. Um, but going deeper than that is, is going to be an issue for this person because they're very kind of surface in this energy. It's like somebody who knows something is there between you, Ace of Pentacles, but, and they feel that, they just don't feel it strongly enough, right, to, to make anything happen here. And they're very self-focused at this time. So again, their feelings for you are stimulated when you take some sort of action towards them. When you say, hey, sexy, or when you text them or when you call them, but then it dies down because they don't really reciprocate it. They just like you showing them attention or something. There's there's something about this person that likes to eat up compliments and um, favor and good, good like vibes from people. Like I'm not really strongly getting energy vampire, but you guys might feel that way. But this is definitely somebody who feels like how they feel about you is that you need to keep them stimulated. You need to keep them interested. Their interest seems to go in and out. Page of wands. Like is there, they feel something, but it's like a little spark. It's like a little flame. And it's not enough to keep them like consistently interested, invested, or consistently taking action. What's the page of wands here? Death. So, right, even with the page of wands, death comes out where it's like something gets started with you guys and their feelings or something in them. Let's just focus on them. Let's say their feelings for you or that they think about you. Death is saying that it's short lived, right? They think about you and then they get distracted by something else. And then, you know, next thing you know, they're not thinking about you. So their feelings for you are very like, the interest remains. I'm just not getting passion and I'm not getting desire. And that can speak to where y'all's relationship is. Okay. That is something I take a look at in the connection was going in the extended what's going on in y'all's connection right now. But I feel like this person feels like they don't want to invest themselves too much. Right. So their feelings for you are a lot are very confusing for even them, the seven of cups. Because they seem to be under the impression that you are not interested in them enough for them to do anything to take this connection to the next level. Whether that is because they're like egomaniac territory and just want you to do all the work and want you to cater to them and give them all the, you know, accolades and they don't have to reciprocate or it is because you're separated or broken up and they just don't know where they stand with you. Cause that's, that's, that could be a really big part of it, right? Um, this person has a definite interest in you. But it's an interest that feels like death, the seven of cups. 
Even they don't trust it. It's an illusion. There's something about it that's not meant to last. So that Six of Cups was definitely, you know, it, it felt like how I thought it felt. It's a very heavy energy coming from this Six of Cups because it feels like this person, how they feel about you. I don't get all uh, soulmate and um, lovey-dovey vibes from this. I get somebody who kind of feels like whatever they felt for you is either a memory, a small spark or something that they cannot trust just yet and and with all of those um they're they look they seem like they're not sure about how to go about like approaching you or dealing with you some of you could feel like this person um is ignoring you is very detached from you the king of swords okay how they feel about you you could feel like they don't have any interest in you you could feel like there's an unrequited situation where you have a lot of feelings and emotions and you possibly try to express it and they're just like not connecting. Why is the King of Swords here? Three cups in the reverse. So they definitely feel disconnected from you. Their feelings for you are, um, you know, this could be someone who likes you. This could be somebody who really likes your personality or really has strong feelings for you at one point. That is not going to go away, right? That's what the Ace of Pentacles is saying as far as their feelings, right? There's a, a, a something here about their feelings where it's like they're not going to hate you. They don't hate you, but they have intentionally disconnected from you. Possibly because you inspire passionate feelings in them and they're not just not ready for that. But also because, again, the circumstances, right? You could be the group that's broken up or separated and haven't spoken. And so they just don't know where they stand and they don't want to make a fool of themselves. What is the three of cups in the reverse? How they feel about you with this king of swords? They could feel like you're disconnected from them and like they don't want. Yeah, I think you're both feeling this king of swords. I think that you both feel disconnected from one another and you don't really have like that soul connection you used to. This could be a connection where you used to feel each other um, intuitively, telepathically, and now it's nothing. That three of cups is in the reverse. So I'm getting that y'all may not even be friendly with one another. That there may not even be like something cordial happening between you. How they feel about you. For some of them, they could feel like it's better to like cut this relationship off, leave it in the past, or leave this relationship at like a professional or like a, a work together type thing, depending on your situation. Because if this is somebody you just have interest in, but y'all are in like the workplace, this is somebody who likes you. They think you're funny. They're attracted to you, but they're, they're, they've already told themselves, I would never, you know, sort of like cross that line with group two. There's something about this person feeling like there was a line drawn. And either they can't have you anymore or they feel like it's best not to pursue you anymore. I have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. So underneath all of that, right, the cold exterior, the confusion, the not knowing where you stand with one another, what this person feels like they feel for you is care. They care about you. They feel like you're sweet. They feel like you're loving Right. But they may not feel that type of passionate love or that type of passionate love anymore where they once did. It's more like a nurturing love. I hope group two is OK. Right. I hope everything is going well for group two, not even in a condescending way, but just really just like caring about you and your well-being. But it's not romantic. Right. But they do have a sense of like a little bit of vulnerability when it comes to you just wanting you to be 
okay. So uh, I'm going to go deeper in the extended. I'm going to see what's going on, why they feel like this. Because um, there's not a lot of feeling at all in this person right now. So why are they feeling like this? I'm going to grab one here and then grab more in the extended group too. Okay. Hand of cards. All right. I'm going to grab more and clarify in the extended. In the extended, I'll also take a look at um, how this person thinks you feel about them. That could help us here. Um, maybe this is why kind of they're behaving like this. I'll also take a look at y'all's mutual feelings for one another. And I am going to take a look at their feelings for you in their own words. Um, I am going to see what's going on in this connection, why they're feeling like this. That's like the first thing I'm going to take a look at. So group two, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I am taking this to the extended. Hello, group three. It is the Sun Sage, and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading, which is their feelings for you. We're going to take a look at the person you are connected to romantically on a soul level, somebody you're interested in, and you're curious about their feelings for you at this time. So that is what I am going to channel. All right. I did want to let you guys know that it is discount week on my Patreon, where silver and gold tier um, receive discounts. Um, on the extended readings for the remaining extended readings for the week. So if you are interested in joining, it is a good week to join. You get access to those extended and other exclusive readings. Um, if you are a platinum member or if you sign up for a platinum membership on this uh, Patreon, you do have access to the extended readings. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your pick a card, their feelings for you and see what comes through. All right. So whoever is on your mind, group three, you guys were drawn to the amethyst and the shadow scapes tarot. Okay. So let's see. What are this person's feelings for you at this time? What are their feelings for group three? What are your person's feelings for you right now, group three? Thank you. We have the queen of wands in the reverse. Okay. What are your person's feelings for you right now? The five of swords in the reverse. Okay. All right. The uh, ace of pentacles in the reverse. The seven of wands in the reverse. All right. And the eight of wands. Okay. So seven of pentacles. All right. This person feels like they have some work to do. <laughs> okay. Their feelings for you are surprisingly coming through as feeling like they need to um, convince you or get your trust back so that you can let your guard down again. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with somebody who hasn't really been showing you like their most mature self. And so the seven of pentacles feels like their feelings are growing, but they, there, there's definitely something about y'all situation coming to a halt or something stopped because the growth in the connection itself stopped. And I feel like what that feels like here is that this person wasn't consistent. And so what I'm actually getting, um, like I said, surprisingly with these reversal energies, uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse, Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, they know that they cannot start over with you. They know that they cannot earn your trust until they start being more um, accountable for their behaviors, okay? So the Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords being in the reverse next to each other, the, the first energy that I got is that their feelings for you have been over sexualized. This is a person who wants what they want when they want it, when it comes to you. They're very attracted to you. You're very sexy to them, but they have not made a good sort of like um, they haven't made like a good showing as far as creating balance, right? So you could feel just mainly desired, lusted after and wanted by this person, but there's no, nothing else they put into it. Um, I feel like this person stopped doing the work a long time ago. And so basically what I feel is their feelings for you are, are very intense, 
you know, sexually and physically, but you have either asked for more or you have pulled your energy back until they give you more. And so that's where we get the overall energy of the seven of pentacles, feeling like they're trying, right? Feeling like they do want more from you than just a physical connection, feeling like they do want more than just a ogle at you and lust after you. But that is very difficult because their uh, desires have overcome um, anything else in this connection as far as like romantic feelings and feelings of getting more serious. Okay. So let's break these down. Um, cause this is a very interesting energy that I'm picking up from somebody who feels like they want to try to, uh, do better. All right. But let's see where this goes. So the queen of wands in the reverse for their feelings for you. This person does feel very possessive, right? It feels like it does come from a space of not wanting you to hook up with anybody else, wanting to kind of have some ownership over you. Um, this is a very bitter, jealous type vibe. And so for them, for their feelings for you to be this, look, they, they like what they've experienced with you. Um, again, there's an issue with them not really having a healthy balance of experiencing you physically or wanting you physically and doing the romantic work or the consistent, you know, effort to make you feel uh, respected and valued here, right? Outside of anything physical, but I do feel like they want to try. This person just can't help that they're like, kind of like, a little bit obsessed with you. All right, let's see what comes through with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. And their feelings for you. The King of Pentacles. This person has a problem objectifying you. <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, this feels like somebody who right now, at least, because this is current feelings, something has like triggered like a shadow aspect of them where you could feel like all they want you for is physical enjoyment or all they want is to possess you. Okay. There's something very like, um, uh, low vibrational in this energy that again, even with the King of Pentacles, I feel like this person believes they need to try harder to uh, show you that they're interested in more. Okay. So um, I think they feel like they made a bad impression on you recently. And I feel like their feelings are that they do respect you. They just haven't shown it in the best ways. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, um, a Taurus here, Capricorn, Virgo. What's the King of Pentacles about with this Queen of Wands? Two of Swords. I think this person hasn't decided what they wanted like long term from this connection. So they've just been kind of going with the flow type thing. You could have put a stop to that, but I do feel like the Two of Swords is something about them needing to make up their mind, okay? Needing to really decide um, what they want because what it seems like is what they want or what they've been wanting recently and what you want are two different things. And so their feelings are coming across as more superficial and more surface level and wanting something from you physically more than wanting like a future with you, even though that's something that it feels like they could offer, um, they just haven't been. This is somebody where it could feel like they have, they're honestly, they're just not respecting you. Okay. That could be a message here that it feels like this person is not respecting you, that it feels like they're not valuing you. Okay. Um, For some of you, this is like a message that they have been getting what they want out of this connection. And so what I'm getting is that they feel like maybe I don't need to do more work if I am getting exactly what I want from group three, something like that. Because I feel like they showed you. their better self and then they stopped so they've uh they've um i'm looking for a specific word but i feel like they have um 
taking a step back, but that's not what I'm looking for. But it's a, uh, it's like when you, when you stop growing and you just like kind of like revert back <laughs> to like, I think you were helping them to grow and then they started getting too much of you or something. And it feels like they just lost interest in putting in effort and work. Okay, so the five of swords in the reverse, I do feel like this is where they're understanding that what their their behavior right now is kind of hurtful. So how they feel towards you could be a little guilty, how they feel towards you could be a little bit like they've been just trying to get something out of this for themselves. They've been just trying to please themselves, make themselves feel good. And it's not fair to you. Right. So I get the energy that this person feels somewhat bad about um, how they've been behaving or the fact that they have been shortchanging you. Um, let's see. OK, two came out. Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords here. And then there's the Queen of Wands. I'll get to that in a second. But their feelings for you. Yeah, so the Ten of Wands with the Four of Swords, they're starting to like tone it down and cool it down and realize what they've been doing, right? They have been putting a lot of pressure on you. Like this is that type of person where they like charm you and they're like, please, can I come see you? I want to come see you. Or they're really flirty and they know that, you know, in the moment, you're, they're kind of taking advantage of the fact that you have a sweet spot for them. And so they're applying all this pressure and they know that you're going to give in. And I feel like the Four of Swords is saying they've contemplated that behavior and they're actually realizing that that's like manipulative, right? To try to get you in these really vulnerable moments, um, to use like their desire for you as a, you know, an, a, a substitution for like their value for you. It, it really does feel like this person views you as very beautiful, very sexy. Um, their feelings for you are incredibly passionate. I just feel like they got too much of you. <laughs> I've never picked that up like in a reading, but I feel like they, you, like, I feel like they just are so used to like having you. Um, they started to like undervalue you. They started to get comfortable. And I feel like they're realizing with the five of swords being in the reverse their feelings for you are, first of all, a lot more emotion based than they thought, because it seems like they're accepting that this is not how you treat somebody you care about in this four of swords, uh, you know, taking a step back and contemplating these behaviors here. So, um, You could just feel like recently something got into this person and they've just been really insatiable. And that's what I get. You know, um, it's been really difficult to talk to them about anything other than like sex or something. I just feel like this person um, is very obsessed with like being turned on by you. And how you've made them feel physically that they kind of overlooked everything else that matters in a connection. So the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for how they feel about you. You know, I feel like this is about a, a, a lost opportunity. Um, they could feel like they've ruined things. They could feel like they've wasted an opportunity to like have something more with you. They could feel like they've, you know, basically just, just completely turned you off here and, and you, and, and you're not open to like seeing anything more with them. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Thank you. It's the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like this person is acknowledging that you were trying to be very reciprocal and trying to be very giving and balanced and like they weren't uh, honoring that, like they were taking advantage of you. Um, so their feelings for you come through a lot about guilt, a lot about owing you something. Um, yeah, an apology, but even like better behavior. OK, the Hierophant is here owing you more respect owing you something their feelings are coming through like they've gotten some sort of like spiritual shake up something that like like put some sense into them and was like you can't treat group three like that what's the six of pentacles here 
with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, Page of, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. I really do feel like their feelings towards you are regretting how they've treated you and how they um, showed basically a lack of respect in their actions. This person is very regretful. They may have hurt themselves by hurting you because that guilt is like, man, how could you treat somebody like that sweet, that pure, like that, you know? And I feel like they may even be feeling like you are triggering some um, emotional like voids and issues that they have in their own life. Um, you know, I think they do want to try again with the Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom. You know, I feel like this person, how they feel about you is that they took advantage of somebody who was very good to them and they feel like crap. And so they have to earn your trust again. Some of you may not have even like confronted them about their behavior. And so I feel like this is them feeling like you don't want to step on their toes or shake the table too much with them. And you're kind of walking on eggshells and they feel like that is horrible because they created an environment where you don't feel safe communicating to them how they may have undervalued you, right? But I do feel like they want to start over and treat you the way they were either treating you when they first got to know you or the way they were treating you not too long ago until they got just like consumed by just like their desire for you, their lust for you. You guys, it's like... um. I think I used this reference before, but it's like Buffy uh, when she was dealing with the vampire, the the first one, Angel, I think. And um, she like he couldn't uh, give in like to his uh, his lust for her, and his desires or else he would turn into a bad vampire. He wouldn't be able to like be helpful to her. And it's kind of like that where I feel like this person was really starting to like become a better person. And then they just started to like fall off. I think you guys noticed it, but didn't say anything. This person noticed it and feels horrible about how they've been treating you. So their feelings for you are right now about a lot of regret, about a lot about how they feel like they owe you, um, a lot about how they feel like they have like taken advantage of you. Like they feel a little bit ashamed in this energy of how they've been treating you, even if you haven't said anything because they know you're worth more. Um, that doesn't even need to be said to this person because they seem to understand that you, you, you're you worth more. So the seven of wands in the reverse for how they feel about you. I feel like this is a sign that this person um, feels the need to like maybe let their guard down. OK, maybe be a little more vulnerable with you um, at this point, especially because I feel like they it kind of feels like they want to say something like, I don't know what got into me. But I haven't been myself. I haven't been treating you the best. And I want to tell you why, right? Um, but it feels like it's an effort to earn your trust here. What's the seven of wands in the reverse? They could be dealing with a lot. You know, their feelings for you could be a lot about how you like relieve them of stress. And a lot about how being around you is like very peaceful and an escape. And um, the way they've been sort of like using that. Um, is, is not fair to you. What's the seven of wands in the reverse? <laughs> yeah, it's the emperor. So their feelings for you are that they want to be held accountable. Um, I feel like these are very strong, passionate feelings that they want to be able to like be more mature, right? About they want to be more in control of themselves. They want to have more discipline. Okay. Which can lead them to being that better self again. So, so uh, you know, I feel like this person believes that letting their guard down, not being so defensive, not feeling so chaotic and so imbalanced is a great way for them to feel more of their true, pure feelings for you, because it almost feels like they've just been on this um 
this kind of kick, this high of getting what they wanted out of you, that they lost touch with the fact that they could want to be your counterpart and be with you. And this is one of those things where I feel like they're kind of checking themselves before you have to. What's the emperor here? You have Aries energy. Thank you. The lovers. Yeah, I really think there's an effort for this. This death. Okay, so death has shown up um, at the bottom of the deck a few times. What I get from that is that their feelings for you, it's not that their feelings for you are dead or done or over. Their feelings for you have to change. Their feelings for you have been so much about lust and passion lately. Um, and this could just be something you notice like in the past couple of weeks, they haven't been as considerate as romantic. They just been like really like overly sexual something like that. Um, they've just been really superficial, but I feel like they know and realize their feelings need to change. Um, I feel like this is also a person who's been kind of defensive with you, closing themselves off from you and, and their feelings for you, from you because, you know, there are issues and triggers with relationships. You know, I feel like this person definitely picked up that you guys had something deep. You were getting closer to like a level of commitment or just like being more with each other. And I feel like they, they, they started to basically diminish with their actions, um, what this relationship was all about. And I feel like they regret that. So I feel like they want to take accountability. Their feelings for you are seemingly that they do want you to see them as your counterpart, as the only one. Um, because again, they're still in this energy of just of wanting you, like don't want anybody else to have you. So that's that emperor energy. But they do feel like with the lovers, it needs to be more balanced. It does need to be more about romance and not so much about possession, right? So... They're taking their time with you now. That's what I'm getting with this seven of pentacles that showed up at the bottom of your deck. I feel like they're taking their time with you at this time because the eight of wands is a sign that this person um, is still very strongly invested energetically with you, right? Their feelings are probably all over the place. They're trying to ground them. They have a lot of passion. They don't know what to do with it. It manifests in sexual ways. And I just feel like they really want to show you more of who they are, more of, you know, the planner in them who can plan a nice date night. They want to show you more of the sponta sponta spontaneity in them, the person that can just come up with a cute thing for y'all to do on the spot. Like this person feels like they want to sort of channel this, uh, eight of wands feels a little bit like somebody who wants to channel all of that loose energy, all of that like free energy into something more structured. But let's see what the Eight of Wands is saying. I feel like they feel, yeah, that the Seven of Swords, you know, yeah, I feel like um, this is somebody that may be um, feeling like they need to surprise or trick you in some way to like show you a different side of them. But let me see what the Seven of Swords is. Three of Wands, right? This is a, um, <laughs> so their feelings for you. This feels a lot like somebody who wants to surprise you, right? You thought my intentions were this, group three, but my intentions really are this. I see a future with us. Um, allow me to do this over. Allow me to start fresh with you. Um, I feel like this person really does want to give you a better impression of themselves. They could feel like with the seven of swords, they got to fake it a little bit. Like they don't want you as much as they do. Like they don't desire you as much as they do. Um, but I, I feel like where they would not be pretending is that they do want, this is them taking their time and maybe just like waiting for, you know, um, more, uh, balanced energies in their, in themselves before they like take action towards you. But I do feel where this person, um, at this point feels like their feelings for you 
are starting to come in a lot more respectful and wanting to honor this relationship. Um, some of you, they could want to take a break. I don't see that in the cards, but I feel it in the energy. They could need to like take a break, right? And that break feels like it would be a lot about them um, whipping themselves into shape. Okay, they lost sight of their goal with you and they want to get that back. This doesn't feel like it's about anybody else. This doesn't feel like it's about a third party. This feels like it really is about this person realizing they actually still have some like toxic traits and stuff that they need to work on um, before they like pursue you again or something. So if you're in separation from this person, um, you might not hear from them for like three weeks or for some of you, maybe three months. Um, I feel like this person doesn't like what happened at some point in your connection and, and they aren't blaming you. I feel like they're mainly blaming themselves, but they want to turn it around. So, um, I'm going to see why they feel like this. What's been going on? What's the status of your connection um, in the extended? I'm going to grab one here and then grab more in the extended and clarify. Let's take a look. What's going on in your connection that they feel like this? Yeah, lightning. I'm telling you, things move very quickly with you guys. They got incredibly excited and we'll see, you know, what comes through, but I, 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 I get it. Um, I'm also going to take a look at what they think your feelings for them are. I'm going to see what your mutual feelings for each other are. Um, I am going to see, um, again, uh, what, you know, um, what the status of this connection is and why they're feeling like this. And I'm also going to take a look at their feelings for you right now in their own words, group three. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I am taking this to the extended.